That's what we're going to show you. I usually start my days every morning around 7 a.m. Then I just dig around on my phone for 20 minutes and try and wake up, which usually doesn't happen. And then I usually just feel like this and eventually have to force myself off the bed. Okay, let's start the day. <laughs> treat me well. Alright, let's look at all the products I use. Toothpaste, yeah. Crest, mmm. Then I go from toothbrushing to tooth flossing to more tooth flossing because I have a permanent retainer. And I usually wash my face a little bit with this thing. Skin detox. What, this is just to get rid of all my dark spots because I popped all my zits. This is the body lotion. I use as face lotion. And then I usually put my contacts in. Oh yeah! Usually doing all that morning stuff takes me around a half an hour. And then I go for my breakfast, which is always a banana! Oh wait, we're out of bananas! So then I, then I improvise. <laughs> I guess I got grapes. We can make this work. Just something light because I'm about to do a workout after this and, you know, you can't have stuff in your stomach. I don't know what I was thinking when I decided to make a morning routine. I'm so not a morning person. Clearly. No, I've been thinking about it though. What makes a perfect, a perfect, a perfect morning routine? Mm, short answer, TLDR. There is no one perfect one. But my answer, which is a little bit longer, is that... How am I put this? So, I've been like on the search for the perfect morning routine. I've tried everything from waking up at 5 in the morning. Okay, so this morning I woke up, and this is how I was wearing my shirt. to waking up whenever the feeling hits me. And so far, this is the best morning routine I've had. Where I wake up at seven, I do all my face stuff, I eat, and then I go and work out. I think everybody's morning routine is a little bit different, but I think the way you find your perfect morning routine is by starting by asking yourself, what is your priority? For me, I don't see anything more important in this world than my health, right? Like if I don't have my health, I don't have anything. If you're sick, you can't move. If you don't get enough sleep, your brain can't function. So I always make sure to get at least seven, if not eight hours of sleep. And then when I wake up, because priority is always um, working out. I gotta move my body, it's my chore. You know, I think the nice thing about doing your workout in the morning is it's one of those things that's not urgent, but it's important. If you've seen that quadrant, and that's why so many people don't end up doing it. And so it's like, just shift it to the first part of your day. You can get it done. It's like a task you have to do anyway. Boom! Check mark. It's out. <laughs> I'm eating the back of these grapes so that the front still looks good. Part of the reason I started waking up at 7 is because I know that when all of this is said and done, my whole morning routine, I still want to be able to start work at 10. Right? So that I can get two solid hours of work in before lunch. Because if I started work at like 11, nobody's doing a real hour of work before lunch. That's, that's ridiculous. 
I think the way you find out what your perfect routine is, is every single weekend you ask yourself, what do I want to do next week? for my morning routine. And at the end of the week, you evaluate how your week went. And you said, ugh, getting up at six o'clock killed me, never doing that again. And so you adjust and you change. Those are different words for the same thing. You just try something new and you keep testing it. And you keep testing it and you keep testing it until eventually you find something that works for you. But don't just mindlessly slip in to your morning routine. Dude, that's dumb. Find one that's good. Find one that makes you feel alive. Oh my god. I'm so tired this morning. Let's go wake me up with a workout. With my workout. Oh, look at that. That's what happens when you plan out your workouts every day. Whoa, looking good. Look at. Okay, yes or no. We get it. We get it. <laughs> Alright, let go. I am not tall enough for this. Hold on. Okay, every morning I do insanity while well, starting this week just because, you know, it's quarantine and I couldn't get my groove. I couldn't be doing these workouts all alone without somebody to guide me. So I have Sean T, the instructor, tell me what I need to do. And every day he pushes me past the point of no return. <laughs> it's so painful. It's so painful. If you guys don't know what insanity is, it's basically like, you know, it's like P90X, but it's one of those exercise programs that lasts for like 30, 60 days. Hey, why am I explaining it to you? I'll just, I'll, I'll just show you. better feeling in the world. No better feeling. Look at how bad I'm sweating. Holy cow. Everything's glossy. Yeah, so after doing a workout like that, there is no eating breakfast until after I shower. So next thing's next is the shower. What, you think I'm going to take you in there with me? <laughs> nope. All right. Bye. Oh, my, my arm's kind of stuck between the door. Bye. Now I usually cook my oatmeal. Used to make eggs, but then I watched a documentary, the one with Arnold Schwarzenegger, about veganism, and I'm like, ah, screw it, I can just make oatmeal every morning instead of eggs, and so I do. I've been doing that every day for like four months now. Okay, um, but I'll come back to you after I make my food with like a more insightful conversation. Hopefully I'll be a little more awake by then. the camera on the wrong setting the whole morning. Told you guys I wasn't a morning person. Um, also, the only thing different about this oatmeal is that normally I have bananas in it. In the words of Mac Miller, gotta work what you got, Hey, Gotta work what you got. You guys can see me coming more alive now, can't you? Yeah, but one thing about morning routines, so like, you see me eating this? This isn't even fake. Like, this, 
It's not fake fruit. No, but it's not fake. This is like literally what I do every single morning. It's a routine that I've honed over like months and months and years, quite honestly. I'm getting super into self-help, which is kind of an annoying place to be. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys have done self-help before. The one thing I feel like self-help books and philosophy gets right is this idea of gradual improvement. So like if you can improve yourself every week by just like 1%, or improve your system, it's gonna set you up to be in a much better position like a year, two years, three years down the line. Even though it takes like an insane amount of patience in the beginning because you don't see anything changing, you have to just kind of like have faith in the process that if every week you go over what you're doing and you say, what could I do better? Then it's just gonna keep improving. And it's not like every morning I wake up at seven. And some mornings I wake up at 6.30. No, <laughs> no, sometimes I wake up at like, you know, 10, and then I have to deal with that. Oh man, I have to go fast, the battery's running out. Um, but essentially, my one friend always tells me, he always tells me it's like, getting your habits together is like trying to teach a kid how to do something. You know, inevitably, they're gonna like, veer off the path and be like, I wanna do it this way! And then you're gonna have to be like, no, no, you know, and like with care, gentle, and patience, patience you teach them how to do things the right way. I feel like that's how we have to be with ourselves and our habits. But it's really interesting. So my roommate said that she actually met the black guy from Shark Tank. I don't know if you guys know him. I looked up his name online. It's Damon Garfield John. <laughs> what a name. Uh, but she met him and she asked him like, what does he think makes the difference between a successful person and a person who's not successful like career wise. And he said, habits. Hands down, habits. So, I gotta go. I gotta finish this. I gotta finish this because my habit is to start work at 10 o'clock. And because I've been filming for you guys, it's already 10.20. You didn't see that. Other than that, I'm yes or no. If you want to go stalk me, go check out my Insta at yes or no. Bye. One small thing that I didn't get to say at breakfast because my camera died. Uh, typically during breakfast, I'm not just sitting there alone like, you know, like, la di da di da let me just look at my oatmeal and be in peace and quiet. You know, I'm not a monk. Instead, what I do is I watch some YouTube videos. Usually, I'm watching stuff about relationships. Or, recently, I got into Malcolm Gladwell. Or, today, I was listening to this, like, awesome, awesome comedy series, uh, I think, called This Is Not Happening. So funny. I'll link it down below. Okay.